Surprise! You didn't think I was just going to end the series without doing the High Impact Games Museum, did you? So I have to thank the Green Paradox on YouTube for the location of the alien codes because, oh boy, these suck. So to put it into context, these glasses reveal the codes in the level, but beyond you looking for them and hoping they're there, from what I can tell there is no actual indication to help you find them, you just have to look hard enough, and some of these are so unbelievably obscure that it's just not funny, <laughs> it's just awful. So yeah, this is this is the location of all of them, I hope you enjoy this. Um, yeah, just, I I would not have found these on my own, or if I, I, eventually, I guess I would have, it would have just taken a very long time, and it's not something I wanted to do, it just, it's, oh, it's so boring, <laughs> but, oh, it's, I, I, it's, I've got them all, I'm looking forward to going to the museum, it should be a lot of fun, the museum I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, it's, it's gonna be a good time, um, so, since we've got, you know, like, another four minutes of finding these things, uh, Shout out to Insomniac Games tweeting out my Ratchet and Clank PS4 wrench only run. Like, what the hell? <laughs> that was amazing. So, for context, I guess, Insomniac Games were doing a sort of like, hey, vote on which weapon is better than this weapon uh, tournament throughout the past couple of weeks. I guess it's been on for like a month now, actually. Um, and yeah, uh, it ultimately was the Rhino 5 versus uh, the Wrench, um, and I was tweeting Frau of it, basically being like, Wrench only everyone, come on, Wrench for Wrench only! And when the Wrench won, they tweeted out my part one of uh, the Ratchet PS4 Wrench only run, being like, hey, check out this the Wrench in action with this cool Wrench only one, like, oh my god! So that was super cool, and I did not expect that at all but yeah so that's uh you know that, that yeah <laughs> it just blew my mind i never thought that insomniac would ever tweet that i never thought they'd even watch the series to be fair or any of the series um so you know that's that's pretty incredible i'm definitely gonna have to try and ensure um that the next ratchet game it is definitely completable wrench only because it would it would be really sad if it wasn't. <laughs> I need to continue the legacy. It needs to be done. The Hig Treehouse, hidden away from the rest of the galaxy by some of the most daunting sh what was that clandestine technology ever created. The High Impact Treehouse supposedly holds a wealth of secrets. Perhaps some of them are hidden away for a reason. I don't know. Let's go. Oh my god, are we? Are, are, are we gonna have to play as Quark to get there? Like, or is it just an enigma within his mind? It's just an enigma within his mind. Fair enough. This is awesome. I've seen five seconds of this and it's cool. All right then. Hey there. Welcome to the High Impact Games Treehouse. This is a secret level where we get to put fun things that don't otherwise fit into the game. Enjoy. I will. This is gonna be cool. Wow, there's loads of stuff here. Okay, where do we begin? Let's begin with the mysterious door. What the hell is this? I... Don't know? Not this. Okay, so are there gonna be some key cards hidden in the treehouse? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's have a look around then. This is really cool. Um, if I don't work out what that's for, I'll look it up. Because um, I would like to complete it. But, uh... Oh man, you get to see some proper concept art. Nice! Was that the, uh... The second level? Was that what that was supposed to be? Originally? Or maybe something entirely different, of course. It could be. Can we... Oh, can we climb this? Uh... No? I don't think so. Okay. Worth a shot. Um... But this is cool. There's a... There's a box! I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. <laughs> that is not kitten. You're right, it's not a kitten. Decidedly. Oh man. Pac-Man has seen some things. Or Diglett. Ah, it's more like Diglett. Or a Bob-omb. Or Bomberman. Ah, this is, you know, 
It's, it's just, it's not kitten though, I can tell you that much. Okay, we'll not go that way yet. Oh man, this place is huge. Oh, hello. Oh, God, you attacked me. <laughs> Oh, you mean the swarms of bees? I'm Matt Gilgenbach, lead gameplay programmer at High Impact Games. I hope you're enjoying the game. I thought you'd enjoy it more if we gave Clank a wisecracking mustache named Rutherford for a sidekick, but my idea was shot down in pre-production. <laughs> That's pretty good. What with the hornets? Oh my god, I love it. I love that. Oh, it's great. That's awesome. Massive respect to that idea. Great idea. I wonder if this is what their like development studio actually looks like. Whoa, that's awesome. So that's the snowboarding area. That's some rad concept art. I love that. Sorry, the bees really threw me off. But, uh, oh man. there's. I was going to say, it looks cool apart from the big green thing that's in the way. But yeah, it's it's really nice to see like this proper concept art here. What does that mean? <laughs> I it is decided that it was a log. It was decidedly not kitten, correct. I don't know what that is that a phrase that anyone has ever uttered besides this game? Cause I've never heard of it before. Oh man, the concept are so cool. Like the thing is, this game wasn't my favourite game in the series. But you know what? They worked incredibly hard, and they did some really cool stuff, and I must respect it. Is that it, there better be a kitten in one of these boxes? <laughs> but yeah, they did a, they did a, a, oh man, I love the the belt factory. It's great. Yeah, they they worked really hard, and they did some really cool ideas. And I suspect they also probably had a really big time crunch, so it's a shame that elements of that sort of bled in. But it's it's just it was a it was a cool experience. Oh man, Ratchet's had better times. Retro kind of future tools description. Enter the code square circle square circle up up triangle down up. Let Ratchet show Cragmites that life on the inside hasn't changed him. What? So I I've heard about this. So I believe that's a costume for Tools of Destruction, which is that, which is crazy. I had no idea that's a thing. Again, no, it is not. What is this? Although designers make the layout of levels, the look and colours of the levels are decided by art. Concept art plays a huge role in helping to visualise these decisions. Check out the various pictures hanging around the treehouse. Oh, that's cool. I think this is the final level. Yeah, it sure is. Is there anything else in here that is not kitten? I don't really know what it is. <laughs> it's an enemy, I think. I like that this is just a, a skateboard here. Oh, we saw this in the credits. Yeah, we did see this in the credits. So, I'm disappointed they're not elaborating more on it, actually. Because it looks like there was going to be a Ratchet Racing section. But there is decidedly not, which is a shame. Um, hello, what is this? Hi, I'm Jared Green, a gameplay programmer. How about a nice game of Robot Finds Kitten? All you have to do is hit presents like this one. <gasps> Oh my god, it, it makes sense! It finally makes sense! It is not! <laughs> Inspiration for effects can come from anywhere. What makes a wallifer or the lightning gun? Obviously our desk lamps. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> is this... Were these cobwebs? It does look like it, or... Brain matter? Interesting, interesting. Cool. Alright, so we've got two choices. Actually, I'll probably look, probably best to look at this first. View cinematic. Okay, can do. Let me tell you how it all went down. I believe this is the whole thing again. What do we have here? The artists aren't the only people who conceptualize their ideas through illustration. Here's a selection of programmer art for you to enjoy and mock, starting with examples from the programmer Gopher Test to sketches for creatures and effects, and even see some of our whiteboard doodles. Oh, cool! This is sweet. Whoa, this looks rad! Whoa, that is... that is a gopher. <laughs> that is a gopher. Oh, man! That one on the left is so cute! So is the one on the right, to be fair. They are, they're pretty great. Oh, Devil Mr. Potato Head on the left and the horrifying thing on the right. 
these are pretty good. I <laughs> I like these. Like I could mock them, but I couldn't do any better. Like mine would be extreme stick men, and they would still be terrible. I used to drew. I used to drew. I used to draw people like, uh, like centipedes. Like I instead of finger, uh, like arms and hands and fingers, I just gave them very long fingers on the side of their body <laughs> when I was a kid because I didn't understand. I was like free, but still, it's funny. Um, oh, what? What is this? Look. Wait, what is this? Hi, I'm Travis Sanchez, one of the newest gameplay programmer recruits here at I Impact. Hope you Whoa! Extra arenas. extra arenas? Really? Like, full blown arenas? Am I gonna regret this? Oh! Oh, I might actually. So, ah, oh boy, how do I talk about the weapons in New Game Plus without being mean. Um, I can't. Uh, so they're awful. <laughs> like, you know how in other Ratchet games they level up and it's like, oh man, like, they've, they've expanded and they're super cool? Yeah, in this game, when you buy the new version, they don't really become that much more powerful. And they, like, and I'm talking about this for both Ratchet and Clank. Um, yeah, they don't really seem to do much. It's very disappointing. Um, it is beyond disappointing, in fact. Um, like, this this just does exactly what it's done before. Um, it doesn't feel any more powerful. Which is a shame, given what potential it has. I am almost certainly going to lose this. Um, and when I do, I'm not going to try it again. I think we're done for now. <laughs> Uh, but it is cool that there are more arenas. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's let's just let's just call it quits. I'm I'm fine not not playing this. Um, but it is cool that there are more arenas. Um, you lose. Good. That's kind of what I expected because I didn't think it would be easy. But it is super cool. But that's a thing. I I like that they've uh, they've added that. But yeah, the weapons are a bit disappointing in New Game Plus. They don't feel that much more powerful, uh, which is a shame. But uh, I hope the uh, the kitten boxes have not, like, they're not randomized and they have not reset or anything. Because um, that would suck. So does it spe specify where it is? It's a jailhouse evolution, see all the enemies in action when one type at a time. Oh, okay. Smorgasbord. Baking up that sausage, you're just skin and bones, you know, with a Soviet problem, it's delicious pork, you know, it's pork bomb and tasty. Okay, interesting. Overkill. Gotta get your workout out Okay, so there's a lot of them, I'm guessing. Wet. The showers are broken and the floor is all wet. Don't slip. Interesting. Be mine. You gotta earn your leave of this place. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that they've actually made the challenges specific and pretty. That's that's cool. So this is some of the actual concept art that was created for our game. Here you can see variants of what monsters and characters could have been or what they look like on paper before they are modeled. Sweet. I'm surprised they didn't just include the uh, the arena challenges in the main game. Because they could have. I don't see why not, but... Oh well. Oh man, these are awesome. It's really cool to just see what kind of ideas they had beforehand and obviously see them on paper. Oh, look at them. Are we going to see the... Uh, the Jiggly Tits Robot, because that, that's a thing. I, uh, I think that's, like, the most amount of comments I've received in quite some time, which is, uh, impressive. That, that, at the end of that video really did awaken a lot of people. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it was pretty good. Like... If you look at the other videos, it's like, oh yeah, like, five comments, ten comments, twenty-seven comments, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, people are really into this. Cool. It was, uh, it was funny. Like I said, as a joke, and, uh, and people were amused. Look at that guy, the second guy, that guy's rad. Oh, this is cool. I love this stuff. Info concept sketches of some vehicles, not all which were ultimately made. Ah, so I, I wonder if Ratchet's vehicle is going to be in here, considering we uh we didn't get to see it. Why does the car on the right and left, to be fair, look miserable? Like, 
the the front of her car looks like a like a mouth, and they just look sad. Wow, Clank looks really skinny there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the one top left looks really sad. Like, why does he look sad? I feel bad for the ship. <laughs> like, that's that's a weird emotion to go through. Cool. Alrighty. What else is there to look at? Oh, there's stuff up here. Actually, there's loads. Is it kitten? Oh, there's also a uh, table tennis table. No, that's decidedly an axe. Okay, cool. Ratchet and Clank games always have skins you can lock with titanium bolts. These skins are generated first from concept art, like any other character. Here's some. Oh, sweet. These are gonna be surreal. Oh my god, what is that one on the right? <laughs> Why does he have a cheese grater for a chin? Oh, it's so good. It looks so dumb. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, he has a bulge. Why does he have a bulge? Oh, that one on the right is also... Oh, the one on the left, though. Oh my god. Whoa, Ratchet. Oh, Zombie Ratchet is amazing. That's so cool. So, so cool. Are you Kitten? That is not Kitten. You are correct. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna hit the other ones in here just in case it's a scenario where it's the last one you open. Oh! Oh! So it's just randomly generated? Oh, okay. Well, I found Kitten, so I feel quite accomplished right now. I mean, it's a cool little idea. Yay! Kitten! <laughs> It's really silly. I like it. You know what? No, I'll click play again and I'll open any any uh, presents that's in the new area. What a weird little game. I love it. I love finding kitten. It's pretty good. What is this? Can I collect all these bowls? Whoa! All the enemies. <sighs> Two games running and this poor guy never made it in. The Bolt Boss, as we call him, is a creature made entirely from the currency of the Ratchet and Clank universe. There were a ton of cool things we were going to do for him, but he never ever got finished. Jumped into his pit to check out what he looked like. Oh, man. Interesting. Whoa, there's like the Illuminati there. Um, interesting. That is Axe. Hello. Hello, all the enemies. I love that Nefarious got in. I love a Ratchet got in. It's pretty good. Checking checking out the Hollow Monocle data on some of the characters can be a bit tricky, especially the various bosses. Here they all are. Oh right, so the Hollow Monocle can be used to like look out, look at specific. Oh wait, not um, look at like specific stats. Uh, where are, where is it? Um, so that's really cool. Clunk and show what purposes uh, appendages and ratchet's heads served has. Uh, uh, has programmed them. Has programmed them create unusable CPU code in an esoteric program. Right, that that fe felt weird. But a pair limitation of the original. Um, Clank originally created doc by Doctor Ferris has created a robot like himself. Cool. Huh. This is interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that you actually get to be able to try it out. God, there's a lot. Oh my god, there's so many. What is this? We love Quark's Opera. Here are some outtakes of the High Impact crew trying and failing to... Oh my god, what? Well, I guess I'm gonna be doing this. It's called a bit cut from the actual game. When it was time for my hero parade A nasty brute wearing a suit Who was representing those I'd slain Served a civil suit to me He said I have to pay attorney's fees 
for all their families. Having no recourse but to rectify the legal case and save some face, I decided there was just one way I could save myself some grief. As I pretended to sign up a check, I snapped his scrawny neck. <laughs> Oh my god. When it was done, the town was not too thrilled. With the big mess and my giant bill. They said I should stay and mop the floor. But I told them my contract states caveat emptor. Okay. Right. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Best singer in the galaxy. Alex singing Quark's Opera. Here's the first verse how I saved everyone from being food for the creme dudes. They were trying to sink the city. I jumped in to save the day. <laughs> I swam right under it and plugged the leak. With just my left butt cheek. Amazing. Turn the tables on the blind clams, cracking their heads with fists of lead. They were no match for my rugged brawn and my wound to sharp as steel. <laughs> and now the town folks know what just tastes nice with just a little spice. Amazing. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while, but it's good. I was gonna say, he's gonna sing the whole thing, man. Alright. He's not bad, he's not making a fool of himself. That's not bad, that's good. Gerard! God, horrific beast, wanting a feast. It wanted a virgin sacrifice, but I just could not oblige. I am not one to boast, but let's just say I kissed a girl one day. So I decided to turn on the charm, flirt with the god, flexing my bar. Then, as it came in close for a kiss. It closed all in of its eyes. I thrust my giant sword into its head, and now the god is dead. Pretty great. When it was time for my hero parade, a nasty brute wearing the suit Ooh, was representing those I'd slain. Serve the civil suit to me. He said I'd have to pay attorney's fees for all their families. A 
Next thing you know, some aliens attack. Little green guys filling the skies. Citizens got scared and ran away. But I told them not to fear. I'll use my laser eyes to shoot them down and save your little town. It wasn't long until they were all dead. Alien meat littered the street. Actually, it was quite a mess In nerds everywhere you looked I guess in retrospect I probably should refund half my food Perhaps you've heard <laughs> of chaos theory Butterfly things flapping their wings Cause a typhoon halfway around the world That just makes no sense to me I squashed that butterfly and nothing changed Do you think that is strange? Let you count giant mama butterfly Showed up to Roy, bent to destroy it was really not that hard to kill I just ripped apart its wings So next time what you think Before it acts That's not theory, it's facts <laughs> Oh, Matt's my favourite, going all out it's Awesome, Matt When it was time for my hero parade A nasty brute wearing my suit was representing those I'd slay Served a civil suit to me He said I'd have to pay Attorney's fees For all their families Having no recourse But to rectify The legal case And save some face I decided there was just one way I could save myself some grief as I pretended to sign up that check, I snapped his scrawny neck. And the final one, Travis! Some aliens attack, little green guys filling the skies. Citizens got scared and ran away, but I told them not to fear. I'll use my laser eyes to shoot them down. And save your little town Wasn't long till, till they were all dead Alien meat littered the street Actually it was quite a mess Innards everywhere you looked I guess in retrospect I probably should return half my fee I have massive respect for all of these people because that that shows some balls to be able to oh this is cool oh man this is cool yeah there it shows some balls to actually do that like that is awesome that's so awesome I'm liking the bolt boss. Also, fun fact, this video will almost certainly get demonetized. The uh, the previous uh, Quark Opera video did. Um, because copyright. So, that's nice, I guess. Um, well, I think that's everything. Um, yay! I found Kitten! Um, so yeah, I guess that's everything in the museum. Apart from this. 
What's the deal with this? So if I'm reading this correctly, there are three key cards in the game. The blue one is located in the main mission in the Gadgetbot mission inside the AI. After the cart part where Clank used the ladder to overcharge two locks, the player must then get back on the cart and go backwards where the key card will be seen. The red one is found on Asiankia rooftops. On the second line of the police cars, on maybe the second one, is a little ledge. If the player presses select and looked down, it is visible. Jumping off will result in death, but the player will eventually obtain the keycard. Yellow is found on the Saint Quark level. The player must reach the part where you saved by nuns by hitting the cannon to release them. But this time they are not meant to hit the cannon. Instead, the player must go to the place where they saw the space. Cut to eye from afar. The near the edge, the player had to walk off. Uh, and then had to use the jetpack to hit it in midair. They are not meant to jump off, but instead had to walk off if missed. The player said they had to retry. So, apparently, there is the chalice of power behind this door. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but it's a thing. So, I'm not going to get this, but it's cool that it's there. It's, it's nice that they've added so much. Um... I like the fact that they've added the kitten thing. Um, yeah, the, the treehouse is just great. The treehouse has always been great. Um, and all praise the, the, the kitten. We we love the kitten. So, yeah. So, I guess this is the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this playthrough. It has been weird. I... Yeah, it's just been weird, but uh, I'll see you next time for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PS1. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>